Reuters. When the Grand Coalition Management Committee meets tomorrow, its entry will certainly be full, and their biggest headcount will be trying to ensure that the coalition partners tolerate each other because clearly they do not love each other. It is ODM that threw the first brick bat last week when it claimed that it had been given a raw deal. ODM as a party is also under low pressure because the country is saying this is not what we negotiated for. But PNU has strongly dismissed the claim arguing that their partner was simply mischievous. Anybody saying, let's renegotiate, I want to, to tell you, they are actually not serious. It must be they are addressing other issues or that they are trying to divert attention because of apparent, apparent uh, problems within the various parties. The vice president remarks are certain to soar the atmosphere ahead of this meeting. In fact, ODM has already branded Kalonzo's ODM Kenya party as a spoiler in the coalition. Although ODM leaders have categorically stated that they will stay put in the coalition and fight from within, they have been vocal about their complaints. It is our responsibility to make sure that the Grand Coalition government works. And if it does not work, we have failed ourselves. We should not blame anybody. President Kibaki has already snubbed the Geneva talks that had been convened by the chair of the eminent African personalities, Kofi Annan, to discuss the progress of implementation of the peace accord. Even Kofi Annan himself was not expecting that President Kibaki would go to Geneva. So let's get things right. Let's get these things absolutely right. President Kibaki will not go to Geneva. Apart from President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga, other members of the Coalition Management Committee include Kalonzo, Uhuru Kenyatta, Musalia Mudavadi, James Orengo, Chirao Ali Mwakwere, George Saitoti, Moses Wetangula and William Ruto. Others are Jeff Akingi, Mohamed Elmi, Charity Ngilu and Martha Karua. As confusion, political bickering and infighting continue to persist among the coalition partners, the more Kenyans are losing trust with this coalition amid the rising cases of corruption, impunity and extrajudicial killings. But the major question remains, whom will Kenyans trust in this coalition? Chris Dairu, Citizen TV, 